Hello everybody and welcome back to Marvel Manor. That's like hard for me to say because I can't speak well. So we're in our wonderful little stair again because of course we are. It's lovely and I enjoy it very, very much. Uh, just trying to make sure that this guy is completely empty before we run off and do our animal work. So we've got, uh, we've got some mowing to do and then we're going to pick her up with the forage wagon and uh, try to get them fed. I got some water, I uh, got the, uh, oh, who makes that? The Forshit, I think it's on Mod Hub. The, uh, the Forshit uh, water tanker Bowser thing. This one, I'll show you. Animals, 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 this guy. So we've got that. So, uh, what else uh, has changed or anything like that? that that's really about it. Um, I've just kind of let the game run for a while, as you can tell. Uh, unexpectedly stopped. Wonderful. <laughs> this is this is my luck, you know. What what do you do? Hopefully, hopefully this will be the end of it. So uh, the only other thing I've done is toss some hay or not hay, some straw, into one of the storage sheds, and I figured that why did you stop what is your unexpected reason uh okay it works now sure <laughs> uh the the only other thing is we need to uh figure out what we need to do to place a hayloft so that is going to be also a thing but first we're gonna cut some grass and I think that this field is uh, large enough so let's go ahead and get this thing unfolded and if I can remember the controls there we go we should be able to do some of this kind of quickly um, we are set up for only like 30 some odd uh, I think it's like 30 I'm pretty sure it's like 35 cows so we are definitely gonna have to to buy more cows <laughs> so that needs to be a thing for sure is uh, more animals uh, more animals equal you know more profit and we're all about that profit right right good so yeah hopefully we'll be doing a little bit of everything today and uh, this field is massive uh, we're not gonna do this whole field uh, we're only going to cut like half of this field right now. That is, that's a big field. These are like, like you look at it on the map, you're like, ah, it's a little field. You look at it in game and they're big fields. So, yeah, we'll, we'll cut what we need. Let's just do it that way. What do you think? So, I had a couple of questions in the comments and... Uh, one of them pertain to the mod list. I okay. Here is why I never put out a mod list. Okay, most of the time, because I'm not German, and the site is very very finicky on the German side where Mod Hoster is. I use ModHub.us. Do not use ModHub.us. It is a horrible site that steals mods. And it's just bad all around. Okay? The only reason that I use it is because I don't have the time to learn German. <laughs> and the site is extremely finicky when you go to modhoster.de and then change it to English. Okay? It is... I, I cannot tell you how bad it is on my computer. It is one of the worst experiences I've ever had. That is why I never list a a mod list. Like, I, I just don't. Um, I know that they're all available on mod hoster, and you have to go to DE now, okay? That needs to be said. Modhoster.de is where all these mods can be found, okay? So you're just going to type in stare. You're going to type in the... Uh, a uh, little 
I don't even know what it's called, the forge wagon deal with the, 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 the vacuum cleaner, right? So they're on there, <laughs> or they're available on other sites. I refuse to link anything to Mod Hub, or I just, I don't. You know, I, I think that it's unfair. If I had the time, I would get everything from their respective sites. Mod Hub does kind of make it easier for people like me. You gotta understand, I just worked a 95 hour shift. I am very tired. <laughs> you know, I, wa I want the content there. I do not have time, and I know that seems like really trivial and, you know, kind of like really backwards thinking. I, I know, I know that that's like really hypocritical. Hip, hip, hypocrite. You know what I'm trying to say. I know this is bad. Okay? I know. I know it's bad. But do as I say, not as I do, right? So, the mods that you're looking for are the Stair. Uh, I think it's like an M90 something something, right? It's our little tractor. It's on the first page. Okay, I went and looked. It's on the first page. Um, the Russian mod is there. Uh, you gotta do a little digging and sorting through I think it's in implements okay um, that's really it so everything else is pretty much available in here uh, the oh the Mercedes the Mercedes is front page because it's a mod hoster so you know uh, German Mercedes you know they exist so it's there but yeah that is all I'm gonna say about that that is all I'm gonna say on the mod situation at some point uh, hopefully in the upcoming week, because today is Saturday, I'm leaving again for Minnesota in less than 24 hours. So, if I have time while we're on the road, um, I don't think that I'm driving this time. I will sit down and try to make a mod list and keep it up to date. The best that I can. In between working 15, 16 hour days. So... I'll do my best. I'll do my due diligence. I will try the best for you that I can. Um, but let's uh, let's not focus on mods anymore. Let's focus on gameplay. So this is why I like this mower. I, I really have always enjoyed using this mower. To me, it's I know it's slower, but it feels faster, kind of thing. Um, I don't make nearly a big of a mess as what I usually do with mowers. So I really like using this one. It's probably my, as I make a mess. <laughs> as I continue to make a mess. There we go. It is probably my favorite mower. I like it. It's, uh, it's what we see around here. So, we're making more than enough. So, everything should be A-OK. -okay. Or, as it goes on this channel, everything should be kosher. And, things are going well. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, and as I always said, I'm leaving again for Minnesota. I'm going to try to have two videos up uh, per day for a couple days. That way you guys have got something uh, to watch. The computer is coming with me. I doubt I'll have time to stream. Hopefully, I do at some point. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it happens. Uh, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Um, I probably need to play a little bit better warships games because I need to play it more and you know it's a fun game um other than that how is everybody liking city skylines is that an okay series I kind of like that okay so you know it is a, it's a good series I like it I like playing that game it's different um Resident Evil I still need time to beat it Tomb Raider has not been forgotten still need time to beat it I'm really hoping that at some point I can get some time off and uh, do a little bit of video making. So how's this guy doing? He is very muddy. We are... are we halfway? We are... as I zoom to the moon. No, we're about a third. Okay. This guy is doing whatever he pleases. I'm not worried about all this crop. Um, it's just extra money. We're doing this for the straw. So, there is that. I'm not too worried about damaging really anything. Um, this is just the, the, the stuff on top. So, 
not too worried about it. We've already turned in, I think, like, we have 36,000 liters. So, uh, we'll take and put this in there, because this is probably going to fill this thing up. But, yeah, so, um, we need... We need to get some of this stuff done. I need a maize harvest uh, for silage, so we need to get that whole deal working. Uh, um, I, I don't know how to best go about that. Hopefully I can get it figured out. I may end up upgrading to a little bit bigger plow on the Mercedes. That way, you know, we can continue to use it. Um, the 5 furrow is okay. But it's only two meters wide, or two and a half meters wide, something like that. We need, we need more space. <laughs> we need more width. And something I was thinking about was subsoilers and then cultivators. Or planters, right on top. So, that may or may not be a thing. Um, I, I haven't decided yet, so I may need some help on that one. I mean, it's doing a good job. It's just very slowly going. It's just, it's not very fast. <laughs> it takes a while for it to get done. There's our wonderful pal. That's 40,000 liters. Uh, the cows are topped off on everything but water. And let's go ahead and get this emptied. And we can take a look at uh, everything that we've got. Uh, da, 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 barley. Yeah, we got 50 some odd thousand liters. We started on easy mode, by the way, so we've got some stuff. Um, then this is selling for a good price. That's all right. 13,000 liters too. So we should probably empty them out uh, at some point. Maybe buy something with it. We have 300 grand left, and we need some water transport. I, I got the one, it's only like 8,000 liters, and it didn't really touch the cows, and we can fill it up in this, uh, there's like a little creek right down here at the bottom of this field, so should be able to to do something with that. Now, there's something I've never tried, and that is using the worker, or have I done that? Have I tried that? Does that work? Does a worker cut grass? anymore or am I imagining things so we'll give that a go here in a minute how about that what are you doing did, did it take you that long to get down here really not or did I really messed everything up I messed up his line I'm sorry you fella what are you doing come on get in there I've made it. I've made it angry. It's okay. It'll be fine. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this emptied out for a little bit here. Not going to be very much product. Alright. There we go. Pull it over here out of the way. And back over to the Ford. What happens if we hit H? Okay, you do work. Okay. So, I need to get them set up. So let's uh, let's kind of drive straight here. I know this is going to be like very badly done, and we'll hit H. Oh, you want to go this direction? Okay, I'm I'm fine with that. Oh, you're only going to go six. Okay, it can go 13. So we've got a set. Hopefully it goes up here, turns around, has a good time. And we can work on getting a wind rower. So what do we have? I wanted to get a cloth one, but I couldn't find a good one. So we don't have much uh, in the way of things I actually want to use. So I guess we'll use this guy. And it only requires 35 horsepower. Or we can get the standard. No, we've used that one so much. I want to. I want to use this one. So you are a windrower, correct? Yeah. All right. So let's give this a try with our um with our little fella. Uh, Mercedes is doing good using no fuel. 
You would think it would have used some fuel. I bet buying fuel's on. Oh, uh, yep. Off, off, off. Off. And we want slow. Plant withering is off. Crop destruction is on. Uh, that needs to be on. Lime required on. Weeds on. Okay. I can deal with this. Everything else is fine, right? Yep. Okay. It's like, why is it not using fuel? Alright, so let me go get the wind rower and let's try to to row up some winds here. And we'll see what all's what. Alright, so we've got this uh, guy going. Still yet. So we're doing pretty good. Um, how do I want to do this, though, for ourselves? Hmm. Well, I don't know how big this thing is. I think we tried to use this before, didn't we? And it did not want to work. I think that that's the correct answer there. So it's on. Let me kind of pull up straight here. And I want to be kind of where this guy is. How is he doing? Oh, he's just doing his own thing. Okay, you do you, buddy. You do you. All right. So let's see here about using this also. Uh, hmm. Let's do like this. Or we need a screenshot for the the video, right? I wish I could turn off all the stuff. So right there. That looks good. I think that, that looks good. So down. Now, oh, it works. It's actually working. So the last time that we tried to do any kind of wind rowing, things went south very, very quickly. Uh, things did not work out as they should have. Um, and it was kind of annoying. So we tried to do our best, and the ground just wasn't having it. So we weren't picking up anything. Um, I'm glad that the Giants has, you know, fixed their game enough to where, no, that's not like an issue or anything. So we're just going to let this guy, he's doing a pretty good job. It's nice that they can, you know, work a grass field. That's kind of sweet. Uh, and yeah, we'll just, uh, continue to do this, I reckon. And then we'll try to, to, to get it all picked up here in just a second. I shut off the harvester. I didn't see any point in it running around kind of rampant. So uh, we'll let it do what it do. And we're going to just... Oh, I didn't pick it up. It doesn't have like an off. Ugh. Forgot. There's like no brakes on the rakes. <laughs> Your brakes has no rakes. Or inverse that. And, and there we go. Yeah, so in like, see how it's not picking up like right at the edge? That's kind of annoying. But, uh, you know what? It's fine. We've dealt with worse, I guess. But I'm interested to see how fast our little, uh, our little pickup thing is going to go. And another thing I want to do is, you know, we, we need to put some of this as, as silage. So, yeah, we're going to have to divvy up our land pretty well I, I think so we should have more than enough just regular old you know cut grass for the cows that's what I'm hoping to get today that way we can get their productivity up I want them reproducing at a decent rate I'm not going to say an excellent rate um, but anything above 847 hours would be you know kind of nice <laughs> Because that's a lot of time. And, you know, that's something that uh, we really don't have, you know, like a huge amount of. So I'm, I'm hoping, uh, and I, I'm like always using the keyword, I am hoping that uh, things are going to go for the best. But yeah, so I know that this map feels like FS17, but that's not bad. I'm thoroughly happy with how the game feels on this map. It, it feels correct. Um, I did like uh, Ravenport until I didn't anymore. Um, just 
it had like a nice charm and I kind of thought it felt like home because it was like really trashy and now I'm just kind of like wow it's really really trashy and I don't like how it plays out and the top corner of the map doesn't feel finished it just kind of exists and that kind of I don't know it just it really turned it off for me so I scrapped that whole project I had a whole whole other deal that I was doing with that and I just said screw it Giants didn't want to put in the time uh, for a good American map and you know everybody's like it's California no it was Tennessee if anything that, that looked like Tennessee with the coastline and some very odd buildings just kind of they just existed for no real reason it was just like all over the place Pelsburn is it's very clean and very German and I don't want to say that it's like a bad thing it's just very German <laughs> it, it has no I don't want to say it, it has no style or anything it has its own style but it has no like real personality to it I guess is what I'm trying to say um, whereas this has you know it's a smaller map and it has its charm you know it has that that feeling of it's been here a while you know and that, and that I think that that makes it feel better is it's a real place you know so the map is definitely off of uh, you know a, a real place and uh, you know, that, that's kind of a nice thing. I like having that feeling. That's why I like cold, cold, cold. My God, I cannot speak today. Cold Burrow Park Farms, but sadly, Bull Bill's not making maps. So, you know, that you messed up, Giants. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's 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 one reason. Um, but yeah, I mean, it feels okay. This map feels awesome. Um, you know, it's just, it has that, that good feeling. Like, you feel like you want to be here. Uh, where everything else is just kind of, eh, and it doesn't really feel right, if that makes any kind of sense. So, you know what, it's fine. Everything's fine. I don't know why this guy stopped. Uh, so that's slightly concerning. But he's also in my way, and that's even more concerning. All right, let's figure this out. Why did you stop? I, oh, it's because it's past the thing. Okay. Crisis averted. Turn around. And B. B. Get it down in the dirt, or not in the dirt. Don't don't put your don't put your cutters in the dirt, people. Uh, it makes for a very awkward conversation. Oh, and I've, I've made it mad. I'm dead right there. Uh, yeah, that was me. That was the death of Alex. Right there was me dying just then. But I think that we have enough to feed our animals. So let me get turned around here one more again. And we will toss this thing over in the weeds. And go grab our little uh, thingamajig. Area, and then we're gonna tie it together. All right, BB. There we go. So plenty of grass. Uh, our thing should fill up extremely quickly. So let's get uncoupled. Let me go grab the vacuum cleaner, and we'll see what we do. Okay, so I actually did figure this out. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on. And then you have to hit here, and then you lower the pickup here. So it's very awkward but it does work so hopefully as we start yes is it gonna be enough I may have made the windrows too big but we are picking up an amount and it's filling up very very quickly so we should be able to feed our cows today and that's gonna make a world of difference 
kind of want to use the one with the bigger head on it. This one would be good for, like, cleaning up the, uh, uh, the pins and everything, though. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, I've always wanted to do, like, the pickup header thing. Uh, we, I see them, like, a lot up here. Um, and I know that that's, like, really odd, but Riverview Farms operates not like an American dairy. It's more European. So maybe that's where I'm seeing, like, a lot of things. Um... But yeah, I mean, they're an American dairy. They operate like an American dairy, but the equipment choices are very European-ish, if that makes any kind of sense. So, like, some of the stuff that they use is, um, well, it's different. Let's just put it that way. Um, you know, it's, it's not like your normal run-of-the-mill farm, you know, when you're taking care of, you know, I think they said 17,000 at a cattle on that, uh, at this uh, particular site, uh, and they have like 90,000 total, or something ridiculous like that, that, uh, you know, you, you've got to do things differently. Alright, um, I want you to do me a solid here, buddy. I'm going to move you all the way down here. And you're just going to go back and forth across the, across the way here. I know that that seems very bad, but I think it'll do. We have cut a lot of grass here. So we should have enough, possibly. We'll see, see what you do whenever I send you straight here. Are you just going to F it all up? Helper Jays completed their task. And Helper J should not complete their task. Let's make sure. I need to remember how the workers work. You know, I, I used to remember, you know, oh, yeah, don't do this thing. Do this. Do it like this, and it'll always work. So hopefully he turns left. Please turn left. Please turn left. Please turn left. Where are you going? You're on a... What are you doing? What is this guy doing? Oh, he's going to do it like this. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. So, onward, I reckon. Good. He'll do good. Now he shouldn't stop, so that's good. And we've made like 40,000 liters of just grass. So the rest of this, um, I want to probably ted that and make it into hay. Um, and we'll probably have to bale that. That's fine. This part, though, this part, I want uh, as either straight up grass, like what we have, or silage. So there is that. All right. B, V. Is it off? Yes. Now we should be able to go feed this directly to the cows. And then we should start making some of that lovely, lovely milk. And milk means money. And I like money. Money makes the world go round, doesn't it? Right, you get up in here. Oh, I left the gates open. Hopefully no cows have gotten out. Pull right up in here. And I want to be... Yes, okay. We should be able to feed. How much is this going to take? Apparently a lot. Let's see. Oh, my. Wow, they're going to be... Yeah, buddy. That's a lot. Okay. Well, that's fine, too, right? Um, at 39%, still 100, 800 hours. That just seems so odd. Why does that seem odd? Let's, let's just bump our time here just a little bit. We'll, we'll go till 1 o'clock. How about that?
Yeah, 800 hours. Oh, okay, 400 hours now. That's good. That's a lot better. That seems... more plausible. <laughs> because that was getting uh, a little bit ridiculous. So we didn't even really give him any kind of food. Jeez. Yeah, we're going to have to have some of that... Uh, the the hay. Uh, we're definitely going to have to have some hay. Probably going to have to bail that. I don't want to have to build storage barns and everything for just hay. Um, but, uh, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But I think that bailing it and picking it up with a auto load trailer because I am the lazy fat American would probably be for the best. So let's go ahead and get back up in here, try to get one more load in before we're done for the day. Will I make it around? Uh, it's going to be close, isn't it? Was this the most dense part or was it what I had before? And uh, you'd be Oh god, please stop. Oh, I've messed this all up. Maybe. Uh huh. GV. There it goes. There we go. So yeah, it picks up like a thousand liters every few feet, which is just—it's nuts. Okay. So this thing was a pretty good investment. This is a pretty cool deal. Um, I kind of like it. So, we'll continue to use it. I think it's uh, a nifty invention. Like, whoever made this, kudos to you. You have done the world many things. You've done great. You're an awesome person for inventing this vacuum cleaner. I know it probably has, like, a an actual uh, name, but uh, you know what? It's fine. It works, it does what it's supposed to do, and I am completely okay with that. And we want to see. Do I turn it off here in TV? There we go. And we'll get this big stripe here. It definitely has some weight to it. And I like how, like, the little axle's, you know, shifting around. It doesn't know exactly what it needs to do. Oh. Uh, GV. Okay, that's, like, really weird. It's, like, an odd combination of keys that you have to press all the time. Don't know if I'm a fan or not. Oh, we're coasting, so the the power went down. That's weird. All right, we're almost done. Now we got twenty five thousand extra liters. That should be good enough for a day or two, right? Maybe. Uh, we're gonna have to fill up our silage pit and get it going. Uh, probably sooner than later. Uh, I don't know how I want to do this exactly. I want more cows, but also need, you know, a way to feed them. And I don't think the one field is going to supply enough for a hundred. So we're going to have to probably update equipment and everything. But that will come. Like all that, uh, all that will be a thing. Back up here a little bit. Please don't smack my tractor too much. There we go. And we'll hit the G and get unloaded. And we'll take a look here. Yeah, we're at 39,000 liters and it doesn't even touch them. That's just ridiculous. But we are making some manure and some slurry, so that's good. Hopefully we can continue with that adventure. And get some free fertilizer out of this so we need to really work on getting uh, all the stuff brought up so I will continue to work 
and we may start filling in the the bunker in the next episode so stay tuned for that and we'll continue taking care of the cows uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's little mini escapade into mowing <laughs> and we'll get a little bit more done next time so again um i'm sorry if videos are not every day i'll try my best but uh it, it's gonna be like that for a couple more weeks uh we got through eight pumps or so and i've only got like 100 more to do so it's gonna be a couple weeks guys hopefully uh you guys understand and everything is fine so uh again thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode